Rahul Gandhi, I thought he was rather odd attacking him. First, you're going to his press conference. Hardly anybody is giving him any prominence. You're there, you're asking what seems like a perfectly bona fide question, and he snaps for some reason. Look, I think what Rahul Gandhi did, particularly with the journalist who uh, Ravi Sisodia was completely unacceptable to suggest that someone is wearing a BJP badge. And this is a Congress a beat reporter. This is a this is a Congress beat reporter, and it's extremely unfortunate. It should not happen, and this is part of the problem increasingly in our politics, where there is an intolerance with seemingly dissenting opinion. In this case, expressed through a question, not a dissenting opinion, but a legitimate question asked. Now you can argue should it have been asked twice, thrice, but journalists will ask when you have a press conference. The rules are such that journalists will ask whether it's me asking a question about what's your political and legal strategy or whether it's Ravi Sisodia asking on the OBC question. But I, th I do think that part of the problem is that right at the very top, including the Prime Minister, don't have press conferences. You know, this is this is increasingly, where are the questions? Let Look me. at what, forget about what's happened with press conferences. Parliament, an entire session of Parliament is gone and you simply don't want to have any kind of debate on any contentious issues. You'll come in the television studios with Shahzad Punawala, but you won't come before the people of the country in Parliament. You don't want to have press conferences, I can understand. You don't even want to have parliament debates. May An have entire one. session okay. of May this country's no, parliament is gone. And that's what troubles me. I want to go to Because this is an important okay. question. Rajdeep, today, papers were thrown at the chair of the speaker. Who threw those papers? One second, Rajdeep, now please, in all fairness, you are saying parliament should run. There were two times the chairperson of the Raj Sabha called for meetings. None of the opposition, Congress party did not attend that meeting. Why? Do they not consider parliament to be important? When they wanted dis discussion on the pandemic, you remember the pandemic discussion, they held parliament hostage in the name of Pegasus. Then when there was another discussion they wanted to have, they bring no, another no, report the and they hold parliament to hostage. The Today, parliament has been held hostage by them. Sir, you know better than anyone else yes. that the job of running parliament is that of the treasury benches. If no matter of urgent importance is going to be discussed under rule 267 in this country, there is something seriously wrong with the way parliament functions. Let's admit it. Just as I said, there's something seriously wrong with the relationship increasingly between politicians and journalists. There is something seriously I'll tell wrong. You okay, no, one second, I want to go across I'll now. You Yashwan, Deshmukh. Is Yashwan Deshmukh, how is this playing out in your tracker? Uh, is Rahul Gandhi's popularity going up? Is it still static? Uh, do you think this actually helps the BJP because BJP leaders seem to believe the more prominence Rahul gets, the more central he becomes to Indian politics ahead of 2024, the more it is advantage Modi? Oh, well, uh, Rahul, uh, BJP is targeting Rahul Gandhi on purpose so that he can gain prominence, become the face of the opposition, which suits BJP in the elections. And these are not my words. These are the words of West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. And I guess that whatever the rallying point that you have been witnessing in the last 48 or 72 hours in opposition rank and file, uh, this is precisely where it is uh, going to have problem because the emergence of Rahul Gandhi or emergence of the Congress at the central stage is not going to hurt, it is unlikely to hurt the BJP. It is going to hurt the precisely the non-BJP opposition parties because these are the regional parties which have eaten up the Congress vote bank over decades and become important. So the Congress graph goes up, BJP's graph doesn't come down. The graph of uh, everybody from TMC to SP to right up to uh, TRS, BRS, which is now BRS, you know, the Congress upswing is invariably bring a downswing of the regional party. And that is where the inherent contradiction in, in, in the opposition rank and file is. You know, Rajdeep knows it very well. You know, I mean, um, uh, Rajdeep, you buy that Nura theory? Kushti the more the Kong, he's calling this Nura Kushti, which is just like mock fighting WWE. The more Rahul benefits, the more public sympathy he gets, the more the Congress's vote share in some of these th third front type states rises, the better it is for the BJP. Look, I, you know, that seems to be the only logical explanation as to why the BJP is investing so much time and energy in focusing on Rahul Gandhi. And we've been saying that for a while that Rahul Gandhi almost is a perfect matchup, to use IPL term terminology since IPL is here, for the BJP. However, it is a strategy fraught with risk. There are two elections that are taking place in this country leading up to 2024. There will be the stay, there will be elections where the regional parties will be the primary opponent, but there are those 200. 180 to 200 seats, whether Congress like it or not, even today is the primary opponent of the BJP. Last time or the last two elections, the BJP swept 90% of the seats. That's what leads Yashwan and many others to believe that the Congress, in a sense, is the 
perfect enemy or perfect opponent Let's for the BJP. But, but as we could well see in Karnataka, and every indication so far from polls coming out of from Karnataka is its advantage, Congress, is that there are parts of the country where sympathy can play a factor. The question is the Congress good enough to play that role? You've got to be organizationally strong, organizationally robust. You can't just stage protests from parliament to jantar mantar. You're let, going to have to go to the people and let convince people that democratic to that. rights an issue that worth Prime fighting Minister for. Prime Minister Modi versus challenger Rahul Gandhi is the ideal matchup for the BJP. The more people see Rahul's face, the more they feel that Prime Minister Modi can possibly take them home. That on the one side is a discredited opposition leader versus the Prime Minister. This the BJP thinks is actually working to their advantage, which is why they are working so hard on making Rahul Gandhi central to the opposition campaign. He's easier to take on than a Kejriwal or a Mamta. I think that's one of the most... I think that's one of the most immature electoral analysis that I have heard. The reality of what is happening lies in this one picture. 40 minutes of a Rahul Gandhi speech in Lok Sabha where he threw open and exposed Mr. Modi, his duplicity and the Adani scam is here to capture the Prime Minister does not utter the word Adani not even once in Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha is instead seen grabbing water with trembling hands. That's the reality. This picture that he exposed the Prime Minister sitting in Adani plane tells you how helter-skelter and how rattled the BJP is. What is the issue here? I can hear ad nauseum people giving me political analysis. At the heart of this matter is the Adani scam and Rahul Gandhi being the one person who is consistently and constantly cornering the government and asking relevant questions. Look at the questions that are coming. EPFO money being put in Adani stocks and people are startled with that. The world regulators are probing Adani and Elara, but we are not. Where are our agencies? And don't you dare hide behind the Supreme Court committee because that committee is on review of regulatory framework. It is not on the multi-billion dollar Adani scam and the, and the allegations of Benami illicit wealth coming into Adani group companies. Does the Prime Minister not want to know? Okay.